Bertino and Antonio Pettini. Basically, it was the main content of a cell or of an organism. So basically, since the uh, all cells of an organism, of the multicellular organism, have the same DNA content, when we look at one cell, the blood cell DNA, that's the genome of the organism. So, the whole DNA content of the organism, of the cell, is the genome. That can be a microbiology genome, so, uh, for example, bacterial genome, bacterial cells, DNA is only one. Uh, molecule and it's the bacterial cells DNA uh, genome. But when we look at the human genome, we see 46 chromosomes, which are duplicated 23 chromosomes. Uh, that's the whole DNA content. Plus, there is another DNA molecule, which is mitochondrial DNA. Yes. So the basically when we say genomic DNA, then we talk. We are talking about the nuclear DNA. DNA uh, enclosed in the nucleus or chromosomal DNA. So today we are going to look at these two subjects first, and then from starting from the next lecture we are going to start looking at the uh, genetic disorders, inherited disorders, starting from uh, the chromosomal uh, disorders, cytogenetic disorders. So let's remember these two first. the whole DNA content of a cell, we say. Where is the genome? In the nucleus. In the nucleus, where is the nucleus? In the cell. Where is the cell? Everywhere in our body. In our body. So our bodies are composed of cells and so is our person. And when we move inside this person has cell, and inside the cell, <coughs> there is a nucleus, and inside the nucleus, that's the organism. And inside the cell, there is a nucleus, and inside the nucleus, there are chromosomes. Right? So different lengths, different shapes, but only one thing, they are intact. So these are the chromosomes. So, in eukaryotic organisms, the first thing you have to remember about the genome. In eukaryotic organisms, the genome is organized as chromosomes. Okay, as many chromosomes, multiple chromosomes, and linear DNA molecules. Okay? But remember, in prokaryotes, it's only one DNA molecule and it's circular, it's not split. So, chromosomes of prokaryotes, uh, the genomes of prokaryotic cells are organized as chromosomes. And in separate DNA molecules, it's separated. Eukaryotic organisms' genomes are separated because every chromosome is how many DNA molecules? Every single chromosome, one chromosome is how many DNA molecules? One DNA molecule. One DNA molecule, yes. One chromosome is one DNA molecule. In that case, both here is our chromosome one. And we know that we have 23 pairs of chromosomes, okay? Uh, only one difference <coughs> between male and female, even though every chromosome is found as pairs, only the last chromosome pair, only the last chromosome can be paired if the organism is female, we are talking about the human. But it only, it only the last chromosome pair is not a real pair because one X chromosome on Y chromosome. So, 
We are going to look at that later. Uh, so these are the chromosomes. Let's look inside the chromosomes. We just converted it. And if we look inside the chromosomes, then we see there are some special regions. These are responsible for coding proteins or vitamins. Vitamins which are not converted, which are not translated to proteins. We call these regions genes. Yes, these are genes. So this is gene one. This is gene two. Gene three, etc. So these are the genes. And how do we call the you know, question? What am I going to ask? How do we call these regions between genes? Intergenic regions. This one. This one. Space than the genes, okay? In the eukaryotic chromosome. So, 